she is. There she is. Man, she's fucking messy. That's exactly how I would imagine Bloody Mary. Don't make me do this if I don't need to. <laughs> Here we go. Exactly how I imagine Bloody Mary, definitely. Ah, uh, copies, okay. Man, this bitch is fucking OP. Fucking hell. Oh shit! This is a fucking awesome fight. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Am I gonna breathe fire now? Oh, half and half, of course. Get up, get up. Man, you gotta do that to kill everyone else, because that's fucking awesome. <laughs> No days without an accident. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. 
Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best. I won't miss next Damn it. time. Before you do it, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. He was dying. That. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. It's a fucking trick. I don't need to belabor the point. But just so we're clear. If you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. I don't want to take him! I'm actually looking forward to seeing this white again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Fuck right, it. Let's go. Let's take him. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it. If you don't mind. What do you say? I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Crooked nose, bitch. <laughs> under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Uh, I want to fucking kill him. Oh, this is an amazing, great game, guys. Like, you know. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's place. Why? Do I look okay? I guess you've been worse. <laughs> you did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. 
Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be ashamed. Shit, Hall. Everyone, can I have your attention? Please. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is it? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was told I, don't. I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <coughs> what a prick. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> it was all well, First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith. <clears throat> so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. And now I run. <laughs> You've all met George. Ninja vanish. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, which only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such a bullshit! For once. It's always been a bit of a panic game. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people, 
use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left <sighs> everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You. You were gonna burn her tree? So, why did you want it? I know what you're doing. It's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. <laughs> it had nothing to do with a crooked man. Shit. You've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Well, yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? I shouldn't talk here. Which is why the Crooked Man must she be should talk. for his crimes. <laughs> the Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. You're right. You're all Boom. still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Green leaf. Auntie Green leaf is.